Today I'm making another thing for the upcoming guitar show. I'm going to build this cool mount from an old brake drum. It's going to sit at my booth at the show. Stick around. I'm Jeff. You're watching Home Built Workshop. Who's that dork? What's going on everyone? Welcome to this episode of Homebuilt Workshop. You tuned in at exactly the right time as I'm getting ready to prepare the final piece that I'm going to use at my display booth at an upcoming guitar show. Before we jump into the project, take a second. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you're not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's totally free, doesn't cost you anything, and while you're at it, ring that notification bell so that you get notified when I upload new videos. As I already mentioned, today's project is going to be another item for my display at an upcoming guitar show. I thought it'd be kind of cool to have like a little TV screen playing some videos of some of my guitar builds just to give some of the passerbys something to do, something to stop. Maybe draw their attention to my booth. Who knows? Maybe everybody there will have a screen like that, but I know we're going to try to put something together and I think it's just going to be a cool touch. <laughs> This heavy brake drum that came off of a horse trailer that I put brakes on, there's a video on that, link in the description, I think is going to make a great bass. It's nice and heavy. I think we can come up with some sort of contraption to put some sort of a pipe in here that will extend up and hold the TV monitor. This thing is pretty greasy and grimy in there, so that's probably the first thing we should do. Let's get this cleaned up. i got a feeling this is going to be several pairs of rubber gloves. A whole lot of rags, probably some brake cleaner, and some elbow grease. Let's do this. Oh, you're back. Are you gonna clean this for me? No? I'm telling you, they're no help. Well, I'm out here. I want to knock these wheel studs out because those are just going to be in the way for what I have in mind. As a side note, if you were trying to save these wheel studs for use on something else, this is not how you should remove them. Well, with this heavy thing cleaned up, it's now time to start thinking about how I'm actually going to mount the monitor to this. On my CNC machine, I have the monitor mounted basically on a piece of regular conduit. And I think I want to use another piece of conduit for this. I want to have a hole basically in the center that the conduit can stick down into. And really, at the other end, the monitor will slip onto. So I need to cut some pieces that will kind of fill in this center. I've measured this with my calipers to determine the exact dimensions, drew up a quick part in Fusion 360, and then used the CNC machine to cut out those parts. Now this cut started off going great. It cut my inner pieces exactly as I intended. It wasn't until it started cutting the outside circle that I ran into a bit of a problem. Without knowing it, I had placed my clamps right in line of the bit. Now this wasn't a big deal initially because my hold downs are made of wood so the bit just trimmed off the piece that was in the way. In hindsight, I probably should have just let the thing cut, it didn't seem to be affecting anything. But for some reason, I decided that I should probably reposition the clamps and instead of hitting the pause button, I tried to just sneak them out of the way while the machine was running. Now don't worry, my hands were not in a dangerous position. But when I loosened up the clamps, I found out that they were still holding quite well and the piece immediately moved. Again, I should have just left it alone. Really, this turned out to be not that big of a deal. I just took the piece to the bandsaw, cut away the material that I could get to, then I used my router with a flush trim bit and finished the cut. Since the CNC had already made a couple passes, I had a nice smooth edge to guide the router along. Well, I guess that's really how we learn stuff, right? You gotta make a few mistakes, break some eggs before you can bake a cake or something like that. <laughs> you gotta make some mistakes, screw some things up. Although, really, nothing got messed up. This piece is the most critical part. I want this to fit really good. 
it's just going to be a piece that fits in right here that's going to allow my piece of conduit to slide down in. This larger piece is just a filler to go in the back. I want to use some bolts down through these lug holes to be able to secure this. Now, one thing I did make a mistake on, which had nothing to do with my piece moving on the machine, I should have just cut a recess here instead of removing this entirely because now I don't have any way to attach this to this, but I got a plan. After clamping the inner piece to the brake drum, I used a pencil and marked the locations of the wheel stud holes. Now I can drill those holes out at the bandsaw. I'm drilling these just a little bit larger than the bolts that I intend to use. That way I have a little bit of wiggle room. I need this disc to sit in place, so I'll hold it temporarily with a few of the bolts just finger tight. Then I'll pop my little center cap in place, and I've cut this stick of wood that fits the bore of the brake drum. Now I can mark off the exact length this stick needs to be trimmed to, plus a quarter of an inch, and make that cut at the table saw. Now I'm ready for a little bit of glue. This block of wood is gonna get glued to my little end cap here. I'm gonna leave that installed. I can set the block, which fits very nice in that bore, right down on the end cap. And to cover up this hole that I shouldn't have made in the first place, I made another thing. It has a little recess, which is going to accept the end of the block. And then I have some screw holes, so I'll be able to screw that right on, which will capture everything in place and plug the hole that I shouldn't have cut in the first place. This little cap is also conveniently going to work as a clamp to hold that down. Now while that glue is drying, let me take a minute and show you how I'm going to end up mounting the monitor to this base. To hold the monitor, I'm going to use this piece of 3 quarter inch electrical conduit. Now the 3 quarter inch is the inside diameter. I'm concerned with the outside diameter because it's going to slip down in a hole as I smash stuff above me. <laughs> the outside diameter of this is just under 15 sixteenths. Now I don't have a drill bit that's going to fit this really well. I want to make sure it's a nice snug fit so it doesn't have room to wiggle and sway around. What I decided to do, and it's exactly what I did to mount the monitor on the CNC machine, was to use the 3D printer and make a little bushing. This has a one inch hole, which I can easily bore with a Forstner bit. This gets tapped into the hole, and then it is sized to fit on this conduit. So that way it's nice and snug and it can't shake and wobble around. So as soon as the glue is dry, I'm gonna remove the center cap, which now has that block of wood attached, and I'm gonna use a one inch Forstner bit, drill a hole down into the block to where I can install my little bushing. Now when this is installed, and we screw that plate on the bottom, it's not gonna be able to wobble around. I'll be able to install my little 3D printed bushing, and our piece of conduit will pop right down in there. Really? I think we've got all the parts made. Now we'll just give this thing a coat of paint. Although I do kind of like the rusty look, we're gonna go for a little bit more finished. Shake well before using. First I'll apply a coat of what is supposed to be this rust preventing primer. Then I'll follow it up with some satin black spray paint. When painting the top, I made sure to install my little center cap because I want that to be painted as well. Once it was all painted, I let this piece dry overnight. Let's put this thing together. bolts in all of the holes, not because I need it for strength, but I want to cover the lug holes. Plus I think it'll look kind of cool with these shiny bolt heads sticking out. I'm 
not gonna crank these down just yet until I get this little piece on the bottom. So it appears as though I still wasn't thinking this through 100%. When I machined this piece, I put a hole in the bottom, but I should not have because I need to be able to secure that square block to this cap. That way it can't come out the top. The reason that I put the hole in there initially was for alignment purposes. But being that I want this to be able to come apart in case I need to make changes, I don't want to just glue everything solid. I ultimately decided to drill a hole in the center of the wooden block, thread that for a bolt, and just use a bolt and a stack of washers to hold everything together. I don't know why I was standing in front of the camera. After tightening these down, all of the bolt heads have pulled down in. I think that looks pretty cool. Oh man, I scuffed my paint. Gonna have to touch that up. Now I'll just tap my 3D printed bushing into place. Now I can install my piece of conduit. hits the ceiling. I need higher ceilings. Let's try this again. Now I can install my piece of conduit. Yes, this is way too short, but I don't have a piece long enough anyway, so I've trimmed this down for your viewing enjoyment. That guy slides right in there. Now I just need the monitor. I'm gonna go swipe it from the CNC machine. All right. This thing is as light as a feather. I have a very similar mount on the back, just a homemade, basically, wall mount. It's got the same bushing on the bottom, just slips on here. The cool thing about using this smart TV, as opposed to like a laptop or something like that, is this has a USB port on here, so I can use just a regular thumb drive that has a whole bunch of guitar build videos loaded onto it. I can plug that into the back and now I can play the videos straight from the thumb drive without having to use any sort of network. I don't know what I'm going to have for internet at the guitar show. If I have internet, I can use it, but I don't need to because I can play it all right here. Bam. This thing's going to work awesome. I can't wait to have all of this stuff put together at the upcoming guitar show. Keep in mind that at the show, this will have a longer piece of conduit and this base will be sitting on the floor. I'll have it roughly eye level or so, but this thing is gonna be awesome. I'm so excited for the show. Info on the guitar show down below, as well as some other links to the socials and all of that good stuff that you can check out. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope this maybe inspires you to Take some unused items and repurpose them into some other cool stuff. We'll see you next time. Oh, look. Oh, I'm wearing the same shirt. <laughs> I'll be darned. <laughs>